How's it going, viewers? Welcome back to the Minecraft series. We have a brand... Well, it's not really brand new anymore. We have an outpost in our world, and it's been sitting here lonely. It's sad. It doesn't like villagers. It doesn't like the zombie farm. Look at those banners, actually. You see those eyes? Those are teardrops in the pillagers' eyes. They've been crying. It's tragic. Today, we're back, working on the world, the world, the world. Oh, but we're not just back working on the world. We're taming something today, a pillager. Today's episode is all about pillager taming. It's going to be pretty good, and hopefully it's not going to take a million hours to make. Yeah. Ah, uh, yes, but I have been summoned by the council because I've been failing at my job, it, it seems. I've been forgetting to say. If you enjoy the series, thank you for watching it. And, and please, remember to leave a like so I don't get hurt. Alright, so to be honest, I don't want to waste a bunch of time in the storage building right here because that's not going to help with our project today. So, first things first, let's talk about pillager taming supplies. You're going to need four things. The first, most important thing, a name tag. This name tag is going to keep the pillagers that we tame uh, from despawning. By the way, when I say tame a pillager, yes, I literally mean tame a pillager. Like, the guy with the crossbow in the patrol, tame it. You can tame it. Like, not dislike you. It won't harm a villager. It will not harm you. It will not harm a cat. It won't harm anything. I do not like supply number two, but it is necessary. Shields. You're going to need shields to tame the pillager. Definitely more than two, for sure. Shield life pack. If you want to make your shield last a little bit longer, put some enchantments on it. Mending, unbreaking three. We did that with that shield right there, but I can't pick it up any longer. It's garbage. Thirdly, 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 you are going to need a spot for this pillager. Highly recommend that you set the spot up before you actually get the pillager, because once you get the pillager, once you get the pillager, it's going to be a little bit tricky to do other things, so get a spot for your pillager. This outpost was, is, and has always been for the pillager. This is going to be exactly where our pillager is going to live in this world, so all we need to do is make a few modifications to this outpost right now to make it, like, pillager-proof. Like, like safe like you know so the pillager can't get out so what we're gonna do is make the whole top floor have fences go all the way around this thing like that that's gonna be good then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go down this floor is fine as is it's actually already safe we're gonna go down a little bit more this floor definitely not good what we're gonna do here i think to to make this thing safe but to keep it kind of like like natural looking you know like from the outside like you see what i did there i put brown glass panes in there and they kind of like blend in like they don't stand out too much so yeah th that's what we're gonna do there to make it a little bit safer yes i am aware obviously that, that there's gonna be a hole at the top right there but the pillager is large the pillager will not be able to fit through that so we're not really worried about it it's gonna look a little bit weird but it's fine the glass panes like barely stand out at all you can really only tell if you're up close like critiquing the build and if you're at that point then how did you even get in my world Oh yes, we're also going to furnish the pillager's house a little bit later after we actually get the pillager, but I need more glass panes, so we're just going to add a crafting table right there for now. It's nice. It makes it cozy. All right, boom. This floor is good. We have glass panes everywhere. Then finally on this floor, I'm thinking iron bars. Iron bars on here are going to blend in with the cobblestone really, really well. I guess technically we wouldn't even have to like cover that up, but we're going to do it anyways. We're also going to put a door on this thing. I'm thinking like a fence gate maybe for now. A fence gate could be good. And then maybe we like add a door or something. I can see like a spruce door on this thing. It would have really fit the vibe. But for now, I think we'll put a fence gate. Okay, so iron bars are gonna go in every single window right here. It's gonna make this really feel like an outpost, like it's like dangerous, secure, you know, that type of thing. And then right here in the door for now, spruce fence gate. We'll make it better later, but there we go. The outpost has been secure. This is where we're gonna store our pillager. It won't be able to get out. Once we get it inside of the thing, as long as we're careful, the pillager will stay inside of it forever. There really aren't very many rules to wherever you're gonna put your pillager. It could be outside. Pillagers don't burn in the sunlight. It, it doesn't really matter. I just highly recommend like containing the area making sure it's like trapped somewhere it could be like a big space it could be a small space but you have to trap it supply number one name tag supply number two shields the shields are going to come in handy later we'll be able to craft more later too uh because i always have wood on me so no big deal supply number three is going to be a location so it's not really a supply just like prep somewhere where you want to put this pillager and then finally the last thing that you're going to need is the actual pillager itself which means oh boy we don't have an outpost near here uh, I'm not excited for this part. Not excited at all, no. We tried last episode. We tried so hard, but we failed. We didn't actually ever end up seeing a patrol. Today, we're going to go back to that field where I was waiting for the patrol. That's in the top quarter of this map with that lime green banner. Uh, and, and wait around, basically, for a patrol to spawn. Then once we get the patrol, 
I think we could basically move the pillager across this ocean from right there all the way down this way sail it in a boat over to here we might have to like dig a canal or something no big deal but sail it from over there over to here I think that's probably the best bet oh yeah another good thing to have while doing all of this not necessarily necessary uh, armor you're, you're gonna have some like decent armor doesn't have to be netherite but like decent armor they're gonna have a crossbow they're gonna shoot at you you know uh decent armor off to the field but before i go to that field i have to make one quick stop the stop is gonna be over here at the skeleton spawner i need to grab something i definitely am not just going to stand around and wait at the field waste all of that time that would be kind of pointless uh so instead i have hatched a master plan i have a good idea Okay, so what I need from here are bones. Bones are going to be good, and you know what? I actually just thought about it. What if, um, we'll try that again. Um, huh? There we go. What if, maybe, th this might not be a bad idea. This is a gigantic field right here. Uh, the only concern is, is the field, like, big enough? It's definitely isolated enough. This field might be it. We might be able to just basically chill in the middle of this field right here. And then if a patrol spawns, it should spawn still in the, like, in the field here. I, I could take down these two trees, right? Oh, no, I can't take down the trees. Okay, okay. Uh, well, I could basically just keep my eyes out. Being in this field right here might not be bad. I, I would think that's more than 50 blocks away. Patrol's gonna spawn 24 to 48 blocks from us. That should maybe be good. Then we could just walk it across the land. Hmm. Start of day number two, and I've made my mind up. I've been thinking for the rest of the day, I had to turn the shaders off. The field looked just way too crazy, but this is the field that we're going to try and use. This is the field right by home. I hope this works. We should be able to see the patrol spawn anywhere. Now, you don't need to actually go to, like, a field or anything like that, but I'm thinking a field is going to be best for us because we can actually, like, see when the patrol spawns. Patrols will only spawn once every 10 minutes, and at that, there's only, like, a 20% chance of it actually working. So, yeah, definitely don't want to miss when that happens. Um, yeah, if I stood around in the jungle, I definitely guarantee that I would, like, miss it. Like, they would spawn, and they would just walk, like, right past me. Wouldn't be good. Uh, yeah, giant waste of time. Uh, but like I said earlier, I'm not standing around in the field. No, 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 because that could be really bad either. We're going to basically have one chance for the patrol to spawn every single day. And this could maybe, if I'm really unlucky, end up taking like five Minecraft days. I mean, technically even more, but hopefully not. We're, we're not even going to think about that, okay? So, anyways, here's the plan. I'm kind of low on wood. Like, I need to get stocked up. So, what I'm thinking is harvest saplings, farm trees in this field. All that I'm going to do over this time while I wait for the patrol to spawn is literally plant trees and then chop them down over and over and over again. Then I'm going to put all of the wood that I get for these trees inside of the shulker box like this. I'm going to wait for the leaves to decay. Uh, get a bunch of saplings. I need to stock up on birch saplings and dark oak ones like big time and, and then repeat it over and over and over again. Once I really get going here, I think what I'm going to do is plant a couple trees of every type at, at the, like the same time, kind of like I did over here. And then hopefully it will become self-sustaining. Like I'll be chopping down one giant tree, climbing it and, and chopping it. And then all of a sudden I turn around and there's like three new trees that have grown and it's like amazing. And then eventually when I turn around, is that going to be a tree? Well, it will hopefully be trees, but it will also most likely, hopefully be a patrol somewhere in this field, just walking through the field, like looking at me, observing me. There's no villagers near here. Everything should be good. And then all I need to do, swoop down and grab one of the pillagers, take the rest out. And that's that. We can have the pillager probably chase us all the way back to the base. I think it will work. I hope it will work. And even more importantly, planning a gigantic build soon. And this is going to help me get stocked up on a bunch of the wood. To be completely honest, I don't know what wood type I'm going to need. I don't know if I even really need a bunch of these wood types. But, I mean, spruce wood is always great, right? I mean, the stuff's, like, beautiful. So, it's fine. Any seeds that I get will be swiftly deposited into this lake right there. And then hopefully they'll end up planting themselves and growing, which will be pretty sweet. If that doesn't happen, they'll just despawn, which is a little sad. But... I can't say I'm too too worried about it. Bone meal birch. One bone meal. Oh, yeah. And another good thing uh, about doing this, I am getting a bunch of wood, which means I'll be able to actually uh, make a boat. If I need to make a boat, you would want to make a boat to actually stop a pillager. So, yeah, you know what? Now that I think about it, maybe add extra wood to the list just in case. If you want to stop something from moving, put a boat down, put it inside of the boat. It won't move. Won't necessarily need it, but it's a good thing to have. All right, though. Hopefully this doesn't end up taking like five Minecraft days. I really hope that a patrol will spawn soon. And uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna try and keep track of how many days pass right now, halfway through day number two. I've talked my way through the day, nicely done. 
day update day number three it's been about exactly one minecraft day still posted up out here in the field nothing is happening um no pillagers get in the wood though give it up for day number four update day number five nothing has happened still um halfway through the day any second now would be great good news good news though check this out the shulker box is basically full which means it was time for another chest what i decided to do is make a chest right there and then i i think what i'm gonna do is probably start putting everything else that i get that that isn't in any of these stacks uh inside of this chest and then i'll just come back for it later day number six give it up for day number six no 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 why is there a traitor over there we must briefly investigate not that we're really gonna miss anything going on over there anyways right now hi how are you why are you here go 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 all of you all of you gone gone i don't know if you're causing problems with my experiment here today but you need to go away i'm so sorry llamas i'm so sorry i'm so sorry it's nothing personal on day number seven of my minecraft world i got so bored that i decided to get my logs and just tower up into the sky i figured from the sky i would be able to see everything every single cow every single pig every single sheep every single donkey there are a few donkeys and hopefully every single pillager too hopefully very soon day number eight day eight how about let's do this let's make this the day this is going to be the day where the patrol spawns is somewhere right here in this field it makes it nice and easy for me day number eight also, I'm going to use some of the sticks that I've gotten and some of the logs that I've also gotten to make a tall platform at this point. I am kind of getting tired of chopping down trees, to be honest. So I'm thinking about maybe just standing here and, and looking around. This might be a little bit more exciting for me at this point in the game. So yeah, look at this tall platform. It's cool. In fact, look at this even better tall platform. It's very fancy now. And look at it. It's so tall. Additionally, it is also very good looking. Might be the best build in this whole world. Well, 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 if it isn't a bunch of toasters spawned over here. Here they are, a patrol, finally, day number nine. How you doing? How you doing? Come back across the river. Come here, come here, come here. Come, come, come this way, please. Come on, come on, come on, come on. One of you. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so finally, you have no clue how excited and happy I am. This took so long. I don't know why they took so long to spawn. They must have just, like, kept failing and failing and failing. But yeah, I was AFK up there on that platform. And kind of just zoning out, to be honest. And then I look up and I see these guys like almost gone. Like they must have spawned in the field and walked all this way or something. But patrol time. So we never found one last episode. We're going to use the pillagers to take the banner guy out so we don't get the bad omen. So you can go ahead and uh, I just just take him out. Just just one more. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. One more. Uh, oh. Okay, any second, buddies. Any second. Improve the aim. Let's go. Get rid of the banner. Get rid of the banner one. Come on. How much health do you have? You're like a tank. Let's go. The ban- There we go. Okay, cool. Bad omen. Not a problem. All right. So all we have to do now is lure some of these pillagers up here. And we have to be careful. We also don't want the pillagers to take all of the other pillagers out. So can both of you just go away now? Okay, you're good. You're good. You're good. You go away too. Check. Just me and you now, buddy. All right. So you're going to have to wait for a patrol to spawn. Or you're just going to want to go over to an outpost. Eventually, a patrol will spawn and you will have pillagers. Narrow it down to one pillager. Then, all you have to do is get that pillager to follow you back to wherever you want it to be. So, uh, in our case, we want it to be all the way back over at the base. I'm thinking to get the pillager back over to the base, all we're going to have to do is literally walk over to the base. But, we are definitely going to want to have good armor at this point. Also, we're going to want to make sure we have our name tag with us, which, yep, definitely do. It's right there. For this part, we're also going to want to stay somewhat close to the pillager. We don't need to stay, like, right on top of it, but we definitely need to keep it within our line of sight. If we go too far away from the pillager, it could despawn, which is not good. Okay, so we have two options. We could go through the forest, or we could try and go around the forest. I'm thinking that we should be able to move through the forest. It's just like a small, tiny forest, so I think if we go slow, the pillager will be able to keep up. Pillager, pillager, this way, right? This way, climb the trees, please. Climb the trees. Let's go. Let's go. I can do it. Oh, yes, yes, yes. You're so smart. Okay, keep going this way. This way. Can You, you can keep up. Come on, come on. You got it, my guy. You got it. You got it. No, no, no. You have to be careful. You have to be careful. You can't take much more damage. All right, right this way through the 
sunflower plane. So we're so close to the base. I think the sweet berry field should be like literally right over there. <laughs> home, sweet home. I've missed you. It's been so long. I have been away for so long, but we return. We return home with a sacrifice. But at the same time, it is not a sacrifice. Definitely not. Pillager, you know where you are. You're at your brand new home. I know you're crabby. I know you're in bad mood, but you're at your new home. Come on, come on, climb the hill. Yes, 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 yes. You're doing so good. Come on. Come on, you can get over the hill. Come on, this is, this is, come on, come on. This is embarrassing. Okay, so now that we're in the jungle, things might get a little bit trickier. We have to definitely move slower for the pillager. Come on, come on, you keep shooting, come on. The pillager is not doing good in this park. Come on, pillager, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Get to the berry farm, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, you know what? You know what? That berry farm is a terrible idea. Berries are very dangerous. I don't know how much health the pillager has. So what we're going to do. Hey, where'd you go? Where'd you go? Pillager, you're making me nervous. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can climb. You can climb right here. What we're going to do is dodge the berry farm entirely and go this way. We're so close now. We are literally so close. Keep moving. Keep moving. You're so close. Oh, no. There are sweet berries everywhere. Let's go this way. Come this way. Come this way. It's the fox farm. We go right past this thing. All right, now don't you dare shoot any of the pigs. The pigs don't deserve it. It's between me and you, buddy. No, no, between me and you. Let's go. Keep moving. You're doing so good. So here's the plan. We're going to cut right down this road right here. We're going to go around the storage building. So no road. We're going to go past the grave site and then hopefully be able to walk right through the, the center area. No villagers over there. Over to the outpost. And this villager should probably follow me straight into the outpost. I'm thinking. Come this way this way come on come on off-roading a little bit i know okay now this is the big test i really hope that this pillager doesn't just jump off of this cliff please don't okay <gasps> you're so smart you are so smart no 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 do not deface my property no no all right we're getting so close now though so close literally we're like basically right there come on come on and it's almost nighttime too if we could get there before nighttime that would be amazing maybe you could just go down the staircase like a normal person come on this way this way come come okay we are literally in the home stretch now come on villager let's go we're getting so close now you have done so well your journey is so good. Okay, so we have a decision here. We could go around the building or we could go around the building the other way. We're going to go around the building this way. I think it's going to be a little bit quicker, kind of more direct here. We're definitely going to be able to finish this before nighttime too, which makes me so happy. We can get the pillager inside of here and then we can sleep right outside of the building. Get the name tag on the pillager in the morning. Should be pretty easy. Okay, come on, come on. Walk right up here, up here. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then I think you can walk through the fence gate, right? Can you? Oh, yes, yes, you can. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Walk through. Oh, no, you can't. You can't. Okay. Okay. I will help you out. I have to be careful here. Oh, no, no. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Come through the name. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Okay. This is all we need to do. Boom. That's right there. Then uh, we could sleep, but we should name tag it first. So I don't have an anvil on me, but I always have a bunch of iron, which is really, really good here. So bunch of iron right there. We can go ahead and make an anvil really quick. The anvil will go inside the pillager house. For now, just going to put it outside though. Name on the name tag. Name on the pillager. Paul, me inside of the bed. Disgusting, disgusting zombies inviting themselves into the forest. Go away, go away. This is Paul's fault. So we have made it into the next daytime. The pillager is inside of here. And for some reason, it does not see me. Hi, I'm right here. All we have to do now is get this pillager to break its crossbow. Oh no, oh no, oh no. You have to be careful when you're blocking the shots with a shield. If you use a shield, remember the arrows bounce off. You don't want to have the pillager take itself out at this point. So yeah, if you're going to use a shield to stop the pillager, uh, be really careful. If you wanted to, you could also do the boat strategy. I don't want to do the boat strategy because it makes me a little nervous. But the boat strategy is basically uh, this right here. Get the pillager inside of the boat and then stand far away with the shield. The pillager will keep shooting. You're so far away that the arrows can't bounce back. No big deal. So right now, the pillager is just standing really far away, which is going to make this pretty easy. All I need to do is stand over here in this corner with the shield. Like, literally, this is it. And and just keep blocking these arrows. The pillager, for some reason, doesn't even want to pathfind and move. This is, like, so easy. You're making it so good for me. Paul, you're amazing. You're, like, the best pillager ever. 
on Java. A plain crossbow. No enchantments like that crossbow over there with the pillager has 326 durability. On Bedrock Edition, it's going to have 464 durability. Now, I'm not 100% sure, to be honest, if this crossbow is actually going to have that much durability. But yeah, we have to have the pillager run through all of the crossbow durability. Thankfully, we had to walk a pretty long way with this pillager, so it already probably lost like a lot of durability. If I had to take a guess, it would be a probably like at least halfway there, I would think. Hopefully. Uh, if not, though, it, it's okay. It's just really a matter of time at this point. As long as we don't hurt the pillager, uh, then we're going to be good. And this is literally all we need to do. So, yeah, this is where the shields come in handy for sure. If you have a shield, you could literally just stand here and, and do this over and over and over again. As you can see, my shield is definitely uh, taking a beating. It's not doing very well. You will not be able to do this with only one shield. You're going to need more than one if you're doing it this way. But shields are so cheap. Look at this pile on the ground. That is like an absurd amount of arrows. They're actually starting to despawn as so many arrows. Just a warning, this process can take like a long time. Like the crossbow is a surprising amount of durability. So you're going to have to be patient and the pillager will not run out of arrows. Um, it has just infinite amount of arrows, apparently. For some reason, I find this, like, kind of hilarious, actually. The pillager is just standing across the room from me, and it has been probably for, like, five minutes now, just shooting at me, trying the same thing over and over and over again. It's not working, buddy. Maybe you should, like, move a little bit to the side or something. Maybe. It might help. <laughs> Okay, let's see if I can craft more shields right here without this pillager moving. I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to. Hold up, what am I missing for a shield? Uh, what do I need to craft a shield? Uh, oh, okay, never mind. To be honest, I probably don't even really need a shield. I could probably just stand here against the wall. Uh, it would make me use up my food because I'm taking damage, but look at this. The arrow doesn't even do any damage to me. <laughs> the armor is that good. This crossbow, like a plain crossbow, doesn't even do any damage. <laughs> That's kind of sad. Oh no, my shield broke. This is not good. Never mind. I found another one. It's gotta be soon. I, I, I'm thinking it has to be soon. This crossbow has lasted a long time. You, you've taken a lot of shots out of that crossbow now. It's gotta be really soon. We have to be close. All right, daytime check. Oh, oh, it's becoming nighttime. Paul, Paul, you will have to wait. I will be back next day. Wait there. Okay, this is actually kind of like perfect timing too because my shield is starting to run low So I think we might as well make another one right there I'm thinking that maybe that will be the last shield. Hopefully Paul have you moved? No, you have not not really actually. Okay, perfect. Keep standing right there. Thank you so much Yeah, I guess I've always been wrong uh, Who shield? shield were so useful most useful <gasps> Paul 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 what happened? I missed it. Where did you put your crossbow? Have shield. It's garbage. We don't need it anymore, and you have no more crossbow. That's right. The pillager has used its crossbow all the way up, which means it's literally, literally peaceful now. We have tamed this pillager. The pillager will never get the crossbow back. That is that. It takes a little bit of time, but it is not hard at all. Now, my goal here is to actually decorate this place up. Paul is definitely not liking this place. This is not satisfactory. The pillager is going to basically act like a pillager now. It might move around if it feels like it i don't think you're stuck are you buddy no no you're not stuck yep the pillagers are gonna walk around like a pillager now but it doesn't have a crossbow so it literally can't do anything and that means if we wanted to we could literally put a villager inside of here with this pillager and nothing would happen i think the villager might freak out constantly though so that wouldn't be very nice okay so with that job done finally done all we need to do now is decorate the outpost get it looking a little bit better the torches on the ground yeah they're not exactly cutting it i'm thinking what we could do up top here is lanterns hanging from the ceiling remove that and then hopefully we're going to be able to get this whole area nice and bright i i think that we'll hopefully do i can't believe we missed it though i was making fun of shields i was literally making fun of shields and and then the crossbow broke it had like two shots left i, I think that's all that this villager basically shot in this daytime we made a whole new shield for literally nothing and and we missed it too we missed the crossbow break i mean it's nothing it's like a literally if you want to see it yourself 
just grab a crossbow and, and, and shoot it until it breaks. Okay, that's that. The top floor is now really bright. I'm thinking that we maybe build like a table in the middle. That could be kind of cool. Maybe like almost like set a map on it, crossbow, something like that. So that's going to be the plan for this floor. We'll come back to it. Next floor is going to be this one right here. This one is going to say pretty bare, I think. I'm thinking this floor is kind of like a, like a storage room or something because it's like really, really safe in here. So maybe like tons of barrels, chests, things like that. And then definitely instead of torches, lanterns. However, I ran out of all of my stuff. So we're going to have to be right back. Pull, don't go anywhere. Okay, so I don't know if this is really gonna work out, like if it's gonna look good, but what if we did that like that and then maybe like Cyan in here, keeping with like the pillager theme and also matching the build? Does it look okay? I mean, it's kind of interesting looking. We wanna try and match the theme of this build or like the style of it, so like really vanilla which is definitely vanilla feeling and then I could easily make like an item frame lay a crossbow on it that could be cool but like is the table weird looking um I feel like it's mildly strange we could maybe put like fences around it oh you know what speaking of fences I should probably like foolproof this build like like this spot right here pillager could definitely fall like repeatedly over and over and over again I don't know why it would do that but it could do it and that would be bad so maybe all we have to do is like a couple extra blocks like just modify it slightly like right there like this can't this can't be bad right no there's no way there's no way same with here this is gonna be good right yeah yeah that's fine and, and you can still move up and then same with over here fix that then we should be safe everywhere i think probably now, the crazy thing about this is once you tame the pillager, the pillager is basically going to stop caring about you. Like, this pillager is not targeting me. It's just kind of coincidentally walking towards me. But, yeah, it, it does not care about me anymore because it knows it literally can't do anything anymore. That's kind of funny. Does this help this table at all? Like, signs all the way around the edge like that to break that up? Does that help? Maybe. Item frame on the table. Crossbow in the item frame. The crossbow lays here. This is Paul's. Perfect timing with this one right here is nighttime, which means it's time to sleep. Paul has a bed. The bed sits right here in this floor. This is going to be like the homey floor right here. Bedtime. No, not yet. Oh, I'm not going to be able to sleep here. That's right. All right, so the storage floor is coming along. It's not done quite yet, but tons of barrels just sitting around in here and chests as well. This is like the loot room. I think the goal with this whole build is going to be basically zero torches. Not necessarily like absolutely zero, but as close to zero as possible. Unless they like fit in with the design. Maybe add a couple of emerald blocks in here and I would say the storage floor is looking pretty good. All right, so on this floor, since we have these nice windows, I'm thinking this is like the homey floor. First things first, we're going to make like a rug in here. The rug is going to have a pattern. It's just going to be a simple checker like that. I think that's going to look good. Definitely matches the pillager vibe for sure. Now on this floor, we're going to go with things like tables and you know just nice decorations so like right there we have a table and then we can put like a lantern on it that would look pretty nice definitely doing like a balcony in here that makes it look a whole lot more realistic and then maybe an extra light hanging in the corner i feel like that's nice also while i'm thinking about it gonna get that front door on the place this is what i'm thinking that's gonna look good it's gonna match the whole build i like it now it's pretty obvious that pillagers are gonna hate flowers they, they would definitely not like that but pillagers everybody knows they love things like cactus and bamboo Minecraft guide 108 comment of the day waddles usually make a building with a massive automatic crop farm with lots of farmer villagers to make lots of easy emeralds an automatic crop farm has been on my to-do list since like no joke like episode 70 now yeah definitely have to get one of those in the world all right ready for the big reveal i've done a little bit more interior decorating i'm really happy with how it turned out so we have the double door with the gate right here so the pillager will never get out then inside of here exquisite painting taste a uh, little work area okay okay then over here even more work area the original patrol banner a little bit of nostalgia for paul bottle on the ground emerald on this thing cactus right there here it is floor number one i did a little detail on the ceiling it's super bright i have a light underneath some of these rugs the middle ones next floor is the home floor so up here we have a plant we have an ender chest we have a bed we have a small little nightstand right there next floor storage room right there tons and tons of storage and then finally the top floor right here we have this planning table right up here and then just a couple random things sitting around up on the top floor the top floor is honestly the emptiest i it was kind of tricky because i can't really put like a block right here because then the pillager could like step up and jump off and that would be really really bad so yeah kind of had to be like really careful with this floor so i decided to basically just leave it pretty empty oh yes and then the shield right here that's on the wall this is the final shield that we had when we were taming the pillager it's a special shield it's paul's now pillager taming is actually pretty easy to do all you basically need to do is find a pillager 
get it trapped somewhere give it a name tag and then hold the shield over and over and over again until the crossbow breaks once the crossbow breaks the pillager will stop caring about you entirely and just walk around and make angry noises like this pillager right here pole that's gonna do it for today's episode i'd like to send a big thank you to my patrons reitman and gbfan 1984 thank you both so much for the support if you enjoyed today's episode remember to leave a like subscribe what would you like to see next let me know down in the comments below it's been me your boy i will see you next time goodbye gamers outpost finished <laughs>